Last week, NDP leader Thomas Mulcair said that if his party's elected this October, they'll decriminalize cannabis immediately. At a campaign event in Vancouver, Mulcair said, I want to make sure that everybody understands that the NDP's position is decriminalization the minute we form government. When asked why he supports decriminalization over legalization, as the Liberal Party is proposing, Mulcair said that it's simply the NDP's long-standing policy. He said the NDP has had the same position for about 40 years. Decriminalizing marijuana is the position of the NDP, it's my position, and it's something that we can do immediately. While Mulcair and the NDP's policy of cannabis decriminalization is a step in the right direction, and far ahead of the Conservative pledge to increase spending on cannabis enforcement, it is far from ideal. Under this policy, police could still harass cannabis consumers and take their weed. Not only that, but cops could ticket cannabis users caught with the plant, a tactic proposed by the Conservatives and Chiefs of Police, but never implemented. So while cannabis possession would no longer be considered a criminal offence, a new hidden tax on cannabis consumers would be created. What makes the NDP's policy more objectionable is that Mulcair has promised to spend millions putting 2,500 more police on Canadian streets. This means even more tax dollars spent searching for cannabis users to ticket. The only way to create jobs, tax revenue, increase tourism, decrease enforcement spending, rein in the black market and organized crime, and stop the stigmatization of cannabis users is to legalize the plant. The only parties currently willing to do the right thing and legalize cannabis are the Liberals and Greens.